So this is one of my next sci-fi trains. It's the power car of a train that I like. This is the Blue Rapier. And as you can see, it's got lights in the front of it. And I'm just going to use this power car section, do something with that. Overall though, this can actually go quite fast. So I think too fast for a Kato Pass really. Nevertheless, it will look quite good seeing a sort of futuristic, streamlined locomotive. Probably not with no guns, just wings and streamline that sort of thing. So a nice addition to Kato Pass, I think. So here I have an Academy model kit of an F-22A Raptor. Here are some of the components from the Raptor kit. And as you can see, they're really sort of sci-fi shapes. There's some terrific shapes here that I can use to kit bash into a totally different thing. And some really interesting shapes. This part, for example, actually fits under the nose section of the Raptor like that. This I'm going to fit, I think, somewhere like that on top of the javelin. I could even drop these down like elephant ears, elephant star ears or even stick them out the side but then it's not going to go round many things without hitting them so see what i've done here on the javelin i've added that section there and the cockpit section there and i think that might look quite good either vertically or horizontally on the rear of the train and i even tried putting that on the front of the rapier like this but I, I really didn't think it looked very good. It looked like it was wearing a sort of false nose, so I'm not gonna do that. But you've gotta experiment and try and be a bit harsh and some things are fine and some things are not. So what I'm doing now is I'm spraying the train and I'm spraying it matte black. So I'm using car sprays and I can get a very nice finish this way. Sometimes I use an airbrush, but this time I'm just using a car spray. And I'm even doing it at night. I'm doing it outside, actually I'm doing it by the I'm doing it by the back door like this, so the smell goes out the door. This is all I do. Quite little sprays. Don't spray too much, too thick, do it in a couple of thin coats. This is my under coat. Try not to spray the door. And that is probably enough for that coat, and I'll do one more coat with this, and then that's the fundamental colour on, which is black and then I put on a light blue or something like that I think a silvery color not sure yet the gray areas of primer I'm going to spray that black in a moment and then some blue and then it should be getting nearer to what I would like it to end up as right I'm just showing you how I masked over windows and things and the lights I used blue tack and then you just peel it off afterwards of course it's still covered in paint at the moment but as you peel it off it comes off nicely having masked the area that you wanted it to that final piece off that's it done so that is quite a good way of masking an unusual shape. So what I'm showing you now is how I've converted the pantograph system into a missile carrying system. 
that's ready for launching of the locomotive and that's when it's all stored there's also another missile there that one doesn't move and I just thought that was good use for the pantograph it could have carried a gun in this case two missiles that came off of my F-22 Raptor kit. I also added a lot more detail around here. So there's all bits of undercarriage and things around here to detail it up. The rear of the engines have got the stealth, they're still gluing actually, stealth vectored thrust devices. 